Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm Kim. Welcome to the Regretful Yarn Addict. Today is Wednesday Whip. No, it is not. It's Wednesday Wrap Up. Wednesday Wrap Up. Episode 30 something. It'll be in the title, I'm sure. So, I wasn't sure I was going to have anything made to show or anything like that. Um, because, you know, I had a craft show Saturday. And then Sunday, me and Brian were gone, like, quite a while. Quite a while. A lot longer than I wanted to be. And we did wind up at Joanne Fabric, but that's another video. This one, I'm just going to show you a couple things I got done. And, um, yeah. Got something under my desk I want to show you. Okay, so, before I get into showing you what I've made, I would like to make this public service announcement. I, uh, I, uh, blah, blah. Did I forget how to talk? That seems weird. Okay, so for those of you who do amigurumi and you use polyfill stuffing, I went ahead and I did a little research on pricing because I felt like I was getting a bargain going to Hobby Lobby and buying mine. But then I know there's other podcasters who like buy theirs probably on Amazon because that's where I looked and they buy like 10 pound boxes, which is great because it lasts a long time. But like I said, I compared the pricing and I can't remember exactly how much that cost, but it was a lot. You guys, I get mine at Hobby Lobby. $3.57 for 12 ounces. All right. I know that's less than a pound, but it's 12 ounces. I usually buy three at a time, which would be three pounds, and it comes to nine, ten, figure eleven dollars for three pounds. Ten pounds would be three, six, nine, thirty-three, right around forty dollars if I was to buy ten pounds. of this and I know that's a lot cheaper than what it is on Amazon that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying on it it's cheaper to buy it at Hobby Lobby if you have a Hobby Lobby by you buy it three bags at a time for 11 bucks and you know, unless you have to drive like long ways to get to Hobby Lobby, then it might be cheaper in the long run to buy it on Amazon. But that's my PSA for today. So what have I been making? Oh, first, let's go back to the craft show. It was okay. It was okay. Um, oh, but really, holy crap. It was 90 degrees outside. You know, but it was nice. It wasn't like, I'm dying. It was a nice, breezy, comfortable 90 degrees. And I, I say that because the older I get, the more I like it when it's warm out. So for me, it was like very nice. Um, you know, no humidity. It was really nice. However, inside this school where I was in the gym, they put me right directly under the blower. And I think they had the AC set at like 50. 
and it was blowing directly down on me. The people around me were a little chilly, but everybody who stopped in to look at my stuff was like, well, it's cold right here. You've got that blower. And I'm like, yeah. I, I had considered wearing shorts and a t-shirt because it was so nice out. And instead, I put on like a pair of capris and a t-shirt. Within, within an hour and a half of being inside the building, after I'd set up and just before it opened to the public, I had to text Brian and be like, bring me a sweatshirt. And I had a sweatshirt on the entire time I was there and I was still cold. It's like, oh my God, it was ridiculous. But I still did okay. So now, now let's get into what have you made, Kim? Are you gonna talk? Are you just are you gonna show me what you got? I'm gonna show you what I got. Maybe. I made a couple little ghosties. They still need some kind of a hat. I because I did wind up putting hats on them and I did sell like I think three of them. Um I they're all out in the garage because I have another craft show coming up this Sunday. But um, I did post a picture of it on my Instagram so you can see the ghosties there with the hats. But anyway, I got these two. Then I made some hats on the old knitting machine. I used up the rest of the yarn I had left over from my cardigan, uh, the Ferris wool cherry on top. And then I had another full one. So I just used it all up. And I got this hat, which is reversible. Pretty much looks the same no matter how you do it just because that's the way the, the yarn came out. So I got that one. That one's for an adult. That one will definitely fit an adult head. It'll, it'll fit an adult head. This one would be like for a child or a small person. But out of one full and then a little bit of uh, left over, I got an adult hat and a child hat. And then, hang on. I have a bunch of this yarn, Rosetti Alaska. See how, I don't know, can you tell how fuzzy that is? It is 44% acrylic. 26 polyamide, 15% fine merino, wool superwash, and 15% alpaca. And it's all fuzzy and soft. And, and I wasn't sure how it would go through the knitting machine or even if it would. But I was like, let's just try it. You guys, it worked very well. So if you haven't, this, this kind of yarn, and I've got a bunch of this and Merino Mist, and they're all like this kind, all fuzzy. Because at one time I thought I was going to make a sweater out of it, and then I decided I didn't want to look like a woolly bear. So I went ahead and I made, I got one hat out of it. Now... The dilemma I had was the other side of this, the wrong side, was all fuzzy. And it was just like, ooh, that is so neat. So I was like, do I want to put the fuzzy side out or do I want to put the knit, knit side out? And I decided I was just going to go with this because the fuzzy will come through. And because this is not reversible, 
I am going to plop a pom-pom on it. I just haven't done it yet. And I'm definitely putting this little label, this part of it, on with it. So that they know what it's made out of and that it need, it definitely needs to be hand washed and dried flat. And it's just, oh, it's so soft. So yeah, I might crank me out a few of these because they are just so pretty. Then, then I found a tutorial for a bat. And who doesn't like bats at Halloween? Mine, however, did not turn out as cute as the one on the tutorial. Now he used chenille yarn. I used blanket yarn. Um, so there's a difference. Mine came out a lot bigger than his. And just, and I, there are so many things about this bat that I'm just not happy with. For starters, I stuffed his neck too much. His eyeballs are too big. His ears are weird, and I don't have his wings on right. So this is my funky bat. The wings should be up like this. The ears should both be pointed, and for some reason, this one didn't want to be pointed. I, I don't like this. I think I made it too big or something. I, well, the eyes are just way too big. And the neck is too stuffed because it should be more like this. The head should be squished down and the wings should be more like this. So this is my bat. I don't know where I'm going to put him, but my bat. He's, um, uh, it wasn't difficult to make, except for you like sewing the head onto the body. And I'll bet you, mm, maybe not. I was gonna say I could just make it all one, but the body, he started with the legs and went up, the little feet. But I'll bet I could figure out a way to do this. Just do the opposite. I'll have to work on that. But I'm going to make some out of just regular four ply acrylic yarn and see how they turn out. Because, you know, even if I don't have any more craft shows after this one coming up, for Halloween, there's always next year. I can always separate everything. It's like, this is Halloween fall stuff. And this is fall, winter, Christmas stuff, and whatever. You know, I can figure it out. I'm, 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 I'm not stupid. I know how to organize. Not that you have to be not stupid to organize or because they're different things. But I know how to organize stuff. All right. So let's move on to something else before I really put my foot in my mouth. I made this. It can be anything I want. This is very cool. Okay. I'm going to turn this one and the other one that I've got almost done into zombies. But I could make them in different colors and I could have an alien or I could just have a doll. Um, very easy. It's just for me, it took some time because 
For this one, I used a 3.75 millimeter and four weight yarn. But, you know, my stitches are pretty nice. So this is one that's not done. And I want, I'm going to, I will definitely put the link to this video in the description box because it's, it's, it's a good pattern to have. This is all one piece. This one you just crochet on after you've got this one done. And then I will make my arms. But you start with the head, go down to the neck, and then you start this part out. And then after it gets to, um, what is it, 42 stitches or something? I think it's 42 stitches. Then you separate your arms out and you make this part. And then you separate, because you're down to 24 here, and then you split this in half so you have 12 over here and 12 over here. And you just make your leg and then you just close it up at the end. And the same thing with the arms. I'll do, I think it's, I don't know, nine rows or something that go down. And then you just, no decreases. And you just sew it up and pull it tight. So you have like that. So I'm going to finish this one up. And then, like I said, I'm going to make a couple of zombies. Another thing, another PSA I want to put out there. And I've mentioned this before. And I know a lot of people don't like this yarn. But this is the best yarn. Red Heart Super Saver is the absolutely absolutely god that word got caught in my throat absolutely best yarn to use for uh amigurumi if you're using a four weight yarn this stuff holds its shape so well i it just remember i said when i made the gecko when i used it and i said it just held a shape and i just had to put enough stuffing in to like so it didn't squish but this is the best yarn to use if you're going to do amigurumi using a four weight yarn because it is a good stiff yarn. I love Big Twist, but Big Twist is soft. It's soft, which is great for like making sweaters and stuff. But amigurumi, when you're using a four weight yarn, you want something stiff that will hold its shape. Trust me on this because, you know, <laughs> I'm an expert. Seriously? Let my experience guide you. And speaking of guide, what do we have So the top card was New Moon and Capricorn, Step Up and Lead. Have we had that one before? I mean, there's a whole, whole deck. It seems like we're always getting the same ones. Step Up and Lead. And on the bottom, Let Your Fears Dissolve. And I'm sure we've had that one before, too. I feel like I should just pull those cards out. <laughs> So we quit getting the same ones. Oh, I like this one. Unleash your kindest self. I like that. We're going to go with that one too. All right, you guys, I'm going to do another video um, that will probably be out. I don't know. We'll worry about it after I make it. This will be out Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. And, um, oh, um, yeah, I haven't made my square for my temperature blanket yet for September. So I'll be showing that next week. I'll show you the progress on my Halloween blanket next week. 
because right now there's not really anything to see. I got a few rows done, but it's all the same color. It's what you've already seen. It'd be boring to look at it again. So, me and my funky bat, my funky, funky bat, God, he's funky. We are done. So y'all have a good day, good morning, good afternoon, whatever, where, whatever, whenever, wherever it is when you're watching. And uh, later, Gators. Peace out.